Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm cutting out some robotic hexapod parts for my mate from Aussie Robotics up in the top end of Queensland. Let's just show you what's going on here. All the parts have been designed in CAD. We'll just uh, animate that for you so you can see it. The finished robot will look something like this. Now to the program we're using today to cut this out is a little program called VCarve Pro. It's a great program. I'll just show you here one of the great, well, one of the good features that I find about this program is its ability to actually to bone. And I'll show you what boning is. You can see there, when you use a round end mill, as you come into a corner, your corner will always be curved. It won't allow you to fit in your parts uh, properly because the curve will restrict it. VCarve has this feature called boning, which allows the tool to cut into the material and then come back out. So your end point's still the same, but it gives these little reliefs, and that allows your part, one of the leg parts, to slide in and fit snugly. Another good thing with VCarve Pro is its ability to actually simulate and cut out all the parts. So if we reset that preview and preview um, all tool parts, and you'll see it again, sorry, there we go. And now it will create a drilling pocket and profile tool pass. And this is where we're up to at the moment. Here's some body parts that I've cut out. This is the top side of one robot, of a hexapod. Here's the underneath side of the other one. You can see this boning feature here in the screen now. And this is what it looks like. And we might start milling. So we'll turn on the spindle. <laughs> Go back into our KCAM program, and it's as simple as because I've got it's paused at the moment. Just hit play, and away we go. We're travelling at 500 millimetres per minute at the moment. The spindle speed's up about oh, 8 to 10,000, I'm unsure. I don't have an RPM meter on it. Just a bit of a guesstimation. And here we have it, the finished product. All these parts were cut out, manufactured on my little CNC 3040 uh, Chinese router. It's a brilliant little machine. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.